Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> right? So, so, so then he gets to the famous video that, he, and here's what he says, a video that surfaced in 2017, right? Well, look, I saw that video in 1983. Back when there was a thing called VHS. Right? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Comment if you know what a VHS is. <laughs> and VHS is a thing that was played on a VCR. So comment if you know what VCR uh, means. Right? Um, now the truth is, the truth is that um, the video did. did it, here's what happened. Yeah. Um, and I, I love the guy. I think he's called uh, Beard, Beardy Beardy Central. I love what he did. He restored the footage. He, um, it, it got colorized. There's one error, as, to the best of my knowledge, that occurs. Um, they think that it's a fight, not a fight, a demonstration between Bruce Lee and Ted Wong. I'm pretty sure it's not Ted Wong, it's Dan and Sam. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, I, I think you're I, right. I am pretty sure. Yeah. Because this is 1966, and I don't think Ted Wong was training at that time. Gotcha. You see? Yeah. So, but in Asano, definitely because they had met two years previously mm -hmm. in 64. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure it was Inasano and um, and Taki Kimura. Is Inasano who, who the, the, the oldest student or longest, or was he the one who had started with Bruce Lee first, like before all these other guys? I know there's, oh. this, you know what I mean? Okay, so, okay, so chronologically. Right, yes, okay, yes, so yes, yes. Chronologically. I'm trying to ask questions, yeah, guys. Okay, <laughs> this, is, this is, yeah, and this is where, see, this is where if you haven't put in the time uh, reading and maybe even studying uh, about Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do, this is where people's lines get crossed. So you could say that the most senior person uh, in the Seattle group is Taki Kimura. You could say that, but that would mean only that Taki Kimura is most senior because he was put in charge. But it doesn't mean that chronologically he's the most senior because apparently, uh, no, apparently Jesse Glover was the first person that uh, Bruce Lee took on as a student. Wow. So chronologically, Jesse Glover would be the senior. Right. You, you, you get right, what I'm saying? Right. But in terms of who was put in charge for whatever reason, it was Taki Kimura. Then um, James Lee would be the second guy, so to speak, because he was put in charge in Oakland. Mm -hmm. So then that makes Inosano number three because he was in charge in Los Angeles. And that's one way of looking at the eras, the different eras in Bruce Lee's development. Right? So, yeah. so it, it, it's like Seattle is sometimes considered to be the modified Wing Chun era. Um, Oakland is considered to be the Jun Fan Kung Fu era. Yeah. You see? And then cool. <laughs> Los Angeles is the Jeet Kune Do era because the term Jeet Kune Do was coined when he lived in, in Los Angeles. It wasn't coined in, in Seattle, it wasn't coined in, um, in, in Oakland. Mm. So there's that breakdown. Yeah. Right? Does that answer your no, question? No, yeah, that definitely okay. answers All right. it. Yeah. <laughs> actually, that, some, some things, was that in there? A little thing comes up about that because. Um, because, yeah, what, what happened on, on the YouTube is that the, f the, the clip was titled something like um, footage of Bruce Lee's only real fight. Mm. And since we are having this discussion with Crowder over whether Bruce Lee was a real fighter or not, you put something like that on the YouTube, it will blow up. Of course. Everybody's going to click of on course. it. This, what, what do you all call it? Clickbait? Clickbait. That's what it that is, <laughs> right? So it worked uh, perfectly. Actually, Emmanuel Mil Miguel Ruiz has a question. Is Crowder even a martial artist, Sifu? Uh, Who so asked that? Emmanuel Miguel Ruiz. Hey, thanks for the, uh, the question, Emmanuel. To, to the best of my understanding, he has done wrestling. He talks about doing the... Um, actually, on the Claven show, he says something about having glass knees, so he's probably not currently training. But then on, um, on his own show, he talked, about, uh, ben, he talked with Ben Shapiro once and was making fun of Shapiro for looking at Krav Maga, right? Whereas Crowder was looking at jujitsu, right? And then when he makes the thing about when he, on, on the Cleveland show, when he makes the thing, he says the thing about how he could strangle um, Floyd Mayweather 
he's talking about rare naked choke. Right, you know, right. I mean, it, it's just like signature BJJ stuff. Yeah. So he's he's definitely he definitely appears to be one of those who's like, if it's not BJJ because BJJ or MMA fighters, you know, they rule the world, then your martial art is not worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, silly. Real martial artists don't get, I mean, look, That's we, we get our, what, what's, the, what's the same, panties in a bunch, yeah. right? <laughs> we get ours over Jeet Kune Do because that's our thing. Right. When do we ever go, but you see those guys over there, right, <laughs> in, in whatever, waste of time. Yeah. No, yeah. not even Brazilian, how could any, how could any rational human being, rational martial artist sit and go, oh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a waste of time. Right? What, what's the big detraction yeah. against jujitsu? Well, being on the ground is not always the place that you want to be. Right. That's a valid consideration. Yeah. A valid Especially obligation. Especially on you know the street where there's rocks okay. and cement. Right. Yeah. Not a nice mat. Not a, right. So so so, <laughs> so so that that's that's the thing. Yeah. But for anybody to say that because of that, that makes the whole art of Brazilian jujitsu useless. Useless. That's, that's yeah, that's not true. That's so that's ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> that's that's so ridiculous, yeah. right? Okay, so I mean, that's just like non-rational thinking. Yeah, right? that's All right. That's just emotional. So um, then, see, Fudan appears for a few seconds, and he's saying something about the ease with which Bruce Lee talked. Um, to him was mind-boggling, and Crowder comes on saying. Yeah, of course it's easy if uh, the guy's not resisting or something. The clip that they show is from the 1964 demo hmm. with Bruce Lee and Taki Kimura doing chisa. So it has nothing to do, right, with fighting. Right. And Bruce Lee obviously is lecturing or, or speaking while he's doing the cheese. Right, yeah. So he inserts this little thing with Dan and Asano saying that Bruce Lee's ability to him was mind-boggling in 1964 to make another crack, another, you know, wise crack about, um, uh, 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 about Bruce Lee not being whatever and whatever. Right. Right? No, that's okay. insane. Yeah. Um, then he, he brings up the point again that at the school where he trained, they made the students bow to Bruce Lee. Right? <laughs> so I'm wondering, does that automatically imbue you with like invincibility right. because you're bow bow bowing to Bruce Lee? So I really think that it's a little bit of a psychological disorder. Like he still has this resentment, right? <laughs> Again, this butt kicked yeah. after studying martial art at that place. And, and it makes sense because a lot of people, even if it's later on, when they saw how effective Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is mm -hmm. against all the other arts they were like I gotta train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right. this is what will make me closer to invincible because look whether we want to admit it or not a lot of people in martial art they're in martial art because of this whole invincibility thing it's yeah. like if I know how to kick butt then I I, yeah. Yeah. no one will kick you know, my butt. Nobody, then. nobody, nobody's gonna be able to take advantage of me exactly. because I know, I know, I know this and I know that. It generally right? happens because it happened before. That's why you started. Yes. yes, many times. You see, I, but then what? What do real martial artists discover? Yes, you develop an ability to fight back, but all of a sudden, this thing about proving yourself as a fighter, it's not that big a deal anymore. Yeah. Right. The pe so so again, there's a Very certain true. psychology that drives people to get in the ring, compete, be able to win and jump on the top of the fence and go like this. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who has ever experienced that level of adulation. Yeah. Right? Look, we feel good if we put something on, on, on the YouTube and somebody gives us a positive comment. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah I mean, do that I mean, here, guys. I mean, <laughs> right? You know, yeah, if people pound the likes, if people pound the if, likes. If, if people put the, the, the hearts or whatever it is yeah, that you yeah. do, we feel good. Right. Imagine then that multiplied a thousand times yeah. because you just beat the smack out of a guy, right. submitted him with a rear naked choke, and then you get to jump it's on the validating. Top of the fence. It's right? validation. That's all you're seeking. And, right. and, 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 and what's wrong with that? Right. If that's what drives a guy, yeah. that's what drives a guy. Yeah. But why is, but, but imagine that guy get up on the fence, go like this, the crowd roars, and then he goes, you know, Bruce Lee was a total farce. 
You know, Bruce Lee didn't know anything about martial arts, and he was a compulsive liar. Why? Yeah. I, I, okay, so, um, what, what's the other thing he says? <laughs> and, oh, it, so then here's another one of his jokes, right? He says, um, you know, I, I got my butt handed to me while a, while a student at that school that made me bow to Bruce Lee. So then he says in the, in the, in the Chinese voice, be water, my friend, and you'll get your ass kicked. As if... It's Bruce Lee's fault that he got his ass kicked. Exactly, exactly. Because they made him bow to the image of Bruce Lee, it and he got his ass that. kicked. Yeah. So be watered. So so the person who is responsible for that ultra popular uh, saying, "Be water, my friend." Now Stephen Crowder thinks he should add, "And you'll get your ass kicked." Right. That's silly. All right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> come on. All right. Guys, um, comment, comment, comment. Let us know what you think. What do you think about this whole thing? I mean, are you on, uh, are you on Steven's side, so to speak? What, what's your input on this? You know, smash the likes. Kevin Thompson, is Ji Kune Do mixed with Wing Chun? It's a great question, Kevin. Sifu. Well, again, uh, as 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 is the answer to a lot of things about Ji Kune Do, yes and no. Right. No, it's not mixed with Wing Chun. Now, are there aspects of Wing Chun's training that Bruce Lee retained in his development of ideas as a martial artist, which is, and for which those ideas, the name given to those ideas is Jeet Kune Do. So it, are there elements of Wing Chun? Did Wing Chun play a role in the development of Jeet Kune Do? Yes. Yeah. But the, like, this is where language is important. You see, now as a guy who writes words for a living, you understand the, 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 the importance of that. So to say that Jeet Kune Do is mixed with Wing Chun is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, this can sometimes be a drawback. Look at how long I took to answer that simple question, is Jeet Kune Do <laughs> mixed with Wing Chun? Right. You could just say no, yeah. but that <laughs> doesn't explain anything. Right, exactly. You could say yes, but that doesn't explain anything. But keep this in mind. What's a big factor in Jeet Kune Do? Truth. Yeah. Truth uh, slash accuracy or whatever. So I will take a little bit more time mm -hmm. to explain why I'm given the answer the way I'm given it. Mm -hmm. And back it up whenever possible. Yeah. Unlike Steven Crowder, <laughs> who makes his claims, right, and doesn't really back him up with, with anything. Guys, if you know right? Steven Crowder personally, make sure you share this video to him, send it to his inbox, send it to his house, send it to his text messaging phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, so, so then... Um, Is it Twitter or Twitter? Send Twitter. it to his Twitter. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, of course, along the way, right, he takes the time, again, to insinuate that, that it's Bruce Lee's students right. who are spreading all these falsehoods uh, so they can sell martial arts books or something, right? Uh, and he, he names, he names uh, Taki Kimura, right, mispronounces his name. Uh, he names Jess Glover as opposed wow. to Jesse Glover, right? So, to the best of my knowledge, you yes, saw his talk about them as well? Yes, right? Now, what books did Taki Kimura try to sell? I don't know about any. What books Jesse. did Jesse Glover try to sell? I don't know about two. I think Jesse what? actually did put a book out, but I don't ever remember Jesse Glover being on the circuit. Right. Buy my book! Buy my book! Nah. Come on. That's silly. All right. Uh,